Do not become enslaved by what you found on earth. You can afford it, alhamdulillah. Have it, use it, make use of it, enjoy it. But don't show off because that is going to call or it's going to bring about the jealousy of the people without even you having asked for it. And what will come about is something known as the evil eye. What's the evil eye? When people arrive at such a level of or, or astonishment by what you have that they don't even remember Allah. They don't even relate it to Allah. You see something you love, mashallah, tabarakallah, or Allahumma barik lahum, or lahu, or laha. You're supposed to pray for blessings for that person. Tell me, you see someone flashing with their sunglasses and their Porsche or Ferrari or whatever else it may be, little Bugatti, mashallah, and you see them flashing and looking at you. Are you going to say, mashallah, Allahumma barik lahu? Or are you just going to look and say, hmm. Tell me, what would happen? Chances are, the way it's done, that mashallah won't come out. And if it does, it's by the way. Like how we say inshallah at times, for free. <laughs> Someone says, are you going to come? Say inshallah. Inshallah means, no, I'm not going to come. It depends how you're saying it. You say, inshallah, I'll be there. You know, three o'clock, I'm going to. That means, yes, I'm coming. But if someone looks and says, inshallah, that means I'm not coming. You know it means I'm not coming. So the same way you look and say, Mashallah, that means I'm jealous of this guy badly. But you say, Mashallah, Tabarakallah, Allahumma barik, Allah grant you goodness, man. I'm happy for you, man. Mashallah, you've made it. 